What is going on apes? Today we were fortunate enough to get a box of OP3 Pillars of Strength a week early. I think a little bit more than a week early, which is fantastic. I know officially the set does not release until the 30th, but a lot of you guys will be getting boxes by the weekend for pre-release if the stores you're going to are selling them, so that's great. Um, so luckily enough, we got a box here to showcase to you guys, as well as we got this. This is a pre-release kit for set three. So I just wanted to open this up so you guys could see what exactly comes in the kit so you can know, uh, you can make sure you're getting exactly what you're paying for when you're going to these pre-releases. So let's start off by opening this kit up before we get to the box, okay? So it comes in this little envelope. And there's the winner, Vivi. Guys, take a look at that. That is a very, very nice card. Um, the Smoker last set was nice, but I don't think it compares to how beautiful this card is. Um, so now that's out of the plastic, let's just take a look at this up close. It's just a really great looking card, guys. So that's the winner that you get if you do win your pre-release event. And then as well as I believe this is eight VVs. Um, I'm not gonna open this up, but this will tell me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, Pillars of Strength pre-release packs. So, so if you guys don't know uh, what's in this, it comes with two cards, uh, any card from the set that is I believe common or, uh, common or uncommon, and it comes with a pre-release stamp on it. So. These are pretty popular. The packs sell for about 10 bucks a pop. So eight of these, uh, eight of the regular art ones, and then the one stamped one. So if you do have 16 players, let's say in your pre-release, and they're giving out 16 of these VVs, there should be two stamped uh, pre-release winners being given out in your tournament. And if there's not two, then it's probably something you should, you should say to your LGS because they're either ripping you off or something's going on there. So that was just a little bonus open here. Um, I know you guys are really here for the box opening. So let's get right into the box here, guys. Um, I, will, I will say I got a lot better at opening packs over the past couple months. If you guys watched my last video, it was pretty brutal watching me open some of the packs, but this one should be a lot smoother. So let's see. Um, I'll also say there is no revision pack or box topper in this set, uh, unlike OP2, right? Or even OP1 had box toppers. But yeah, there, there is no revision pack. There is no uh, box topper in this. I don't know why they didn't do it, but it is what it is, I guess. So we've got our 24 packs here. Um, I'm hoping to get a leader, a Katakuri, or an ace or um, even the wanted cards are really cool this set. I'm, I'm not sure if you guys have seen them. Uh, I'm probably gonna play yellow, so I'm looking for yellow alts overall, but let's see what we got. All right, our first pack, first card is damaged as hell. I don't know why, I don't know what happened. Maybe something happened to the box, but it's absolutely mangled in the corner. We got an Ace, Common Leader, a Khalifa, and a Jin. So that's our first pack there. We got two, uh, two rares, no SR. Tooth Attack. Crossfire, Katakuri Leader, Django, okay, two more rares here. Just gonna put all the commons and rares together and then sort through that later. Um, I'm not sure what the short printed cards are this set, what the uncommon uh, short printeds are. Pearl, a good blocker. Thunderbolt, this card is really cool, played in yellow. Virgo, if you guys watched my pre-release video, one of the best pre-release cards to play. Sovereignty, I think this card might be short printed, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Kaya, another great card for your pre-release. This is a rare. 
And we got Nami, nice. So we're three packs deep and we haven't hit anything yet, which is all right. Um, I think I saw an SR in this pack. Sorry to spoil it for you. We got Mary, Helmeppo, Soap Sheep, funny card. Yeah, I definitely see something. We got Bluno and we got Charlotte Cracker. So I don't know if you guys know what this card does. It's insane in yellow. Um, the trigger effect alone makes it crazy. Uh, you can trash a card to play it. And then if your opponent has less life than you while it attacks, it gains a thousand plus double attack. Uh, this card is, I know the pre-release prices for an SR is crazy like this. It's like what Newgate was at in OP2. Like this is definitely a great SR to pull. So I'm just gonna put that to the side there. Like I said, I wanted yellow cards, so I'm glad I got that. Let's see if we can get a yellow alt or even a Katakuri leader. Buggy, I think this uh, might be short printed as well. Okay, we got something here. We got Smoothie, another needed card. And we got Usopp, which is a, a cool looking card. Nice SR. Also, I think the secrets this set are the Katakuri 8 cost and the Soga King. And I'm hoping to get the Katakuri, obviously. Like I said, I do need those cards. Shirahoshi. And we got Zeph. Nice. A Zeph is pretty cool. Amazing card in blue, if you guys don't know what it does. Uh, when it's played you can return a character cost three or less to your uh to the owner's hand and trash two cards from the top of your deck and if it has one dawn and it does damage you can mill the top seven cards of your deck which is insane in blue it's one of the best cards in that deck so if you're playing blue i definitely recommend picking up four because you're going to need it this is another mangled pack i don't know why the top card the corner is just destroyed but it wasn't because the way i opened it i promise um, and it's just the top card. I don't, I don't know why. Thunderbolt. We got something here. Flame Emperor. And we got Soga King. So this is our secret. Uh, like I said, I wanted the Katakuri. We got Soga King. It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah. And this is the also the manga card. Uh, it comes in the manga rarity. I'm sure you guys have seen it by now. Um, who knows, I think we can still get one in this box, but obviously it's unlikely to pull one. I'm not expecting to get one, but getting one would be great. Opera, this is a uh, common that you need to play in yellow. Limb, Sovereignty again, Iceberg. We got another Zeph and another Smoothie. That's great, two great uh, rares. Also want uh, at least one SR Marco. That card is like the most expensive SR right now. It's one of the best red cards that they've printed. It's just a great card. It's gonna be like Newgate was in OP2 in terms of price, I think. I think right now it's sitting at like 30 bucks, which is pretty crazy. Oh, Marshall D. Teach and holy fucking shit. No, no, no. You know, I, I would stand up and scream right now but I'm not wearing any pants, so I can't do that because I don't want to knock over my, my thing, but holy crap, guys. I'm at a loss for words. You know, I'm, I'm actually at a loss for words right now because of a lot of reasons, but I have never pulled a manga card and I cannot believe that we just pulled a manga card, let alone from one box on, on the video. Now, this is crazy, holy. I'm glad it wasn't in one of the, the mangled packs, too. And we were just talking about... No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I, I, I want to, like, scream, but it's also late, and, and I don't want to wake anybody up. And like I said, I'm not wearing pants, so I don't want to drop this tripod. But holy crap. I can't believe we just pulled a fucking Manga Soga King. What the... No, like... Uh, um... I'm gonna say that the rest of this box is probably gonna be underwhelming. Uh, there you guys can see the difference in the card. 
Uh, I'm just gonna, I don't even have a sleeve here to put it in right now. So I'm just gonna put this one here. I'll give you guys one more look at it. That is awesome. You know, this is one of, uh, Usopp is one of my favorite characters in the show. To get this, it is great. Um, I can't believe I uh, pulled a one box to, to stream this and got it. Um, but yeah, this is, this is sick. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna put this to the side. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, it would have been nice to pull out a little bit later, but I, I am definitely not complaining about that. So let's see what else we got. If we even have any more alts, I'm not sure what slot that takes up, but um, see, look, this one is mangled too. And, and I promise you, I'm not mangling it. It's just that top card. Not me too rares. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to this because you know what? Like the reason that I I, I paused when I when I pulled this is because I, I have this tripod in front of me like to film this and I'm I wasn't even sure if this was the manga card because I forgot what the alt art looked like. So this is this is crazy guys. I still can't believe that we got this. This is insane. Holy I am so thrilled to get that. Got a curry, Belmere, and gum gum jet get jet, uh, gum gum jet Gatling. Uh, these are two great rares, especially the Belmere. This card is insane in blue. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be looking for that card. It's it's one of those rares that are actually going to be worth money. Um, I would hold or not hold on to them, but I wouldn't just throw them out if you, if you pull them, you know. Sorry, I'm just going to kind of skip through this stuff. Okay, we got a Paro Sparrow. This card, I just want to talk about this for a second. Um, this card is really nice for an SR. This is not even the alt art. This is just the regular art. I think they did a phenomenal job with this card. It, it's crazy that this is just the regular art. Like it's it's such a nice card, especially for yellow, which is what I need it for, which is great. Um, kind of hard to be excited about any other card considering what I just pulled. We got uh, Luchi, Buzzcut, Mochi, and Kuroko. That pack was kind of underwhelming, but what can you do? Let's see, what do we got here? Alvida, this is the true Alvida. You guys have watched the show. Or read the manga. Akaya and a Charlotte Linlin, nice. Um, I heard that this card is very difficult to get alt art. I've seen people who have already opened four or five cases and only gotten, you know, two or three of these, which is crazy. But um, this card is insane. If you're playing yellow, you need four. If you haven't read what it does, I strongly suggest you read it because it will be the next Newgate type card. Big, big girl, you know, like, just go look up what it does. Uh, we got Fiery Doll. Another Kaya, a lot of 2K counters we're getting here. And holy, an alt art Rob Lucci, really nice. This box is crazy. Um, this card's nice, really nice. Not the leader, but we'll still take it, you know. Um, it's a great card, it's played in black. Black and yellow are going to be so expensive if you're trying to uh, max rarity them both. But this is one step closer if you end up pulling this card. So we're just going to put this over here with the Soga King. So we got, so far, we got the Alt Luchi. We got the Soga King, uh, which I'm definitely not complaining about because we got the Manga Soga King over there. I don't know if we can get anything else uh, Alt Art in the box because the slots are taken up. Right, because we got the secret, an alt, and a uh, manga. I think the the best that's the best that you can get, unless you can get two alts and a manga. We got two uh, short printed cards. I'm pretty sure. Khalifa and Rob Lucci. Oh, I think I see an SR there. Another Opera Tooth Attack. Buggy again, we got a Polly. This is probably one of the cards 
that you do not want to see an alt art. Uh, I think it's going to be one of the cheaper ones, you know, um, with purple getting its new archetype. Nobody really knows if it's going to be good or not, but I think it's one of the uh, lesser played decks for sure. So you're, when you're opening your box, you're probably looking for a leader alt or black or yellow uh, regular card um, alt art rather than a purple alt or a green alt. But the Craig is pretty good if you do get the Craig. We got Shirahoshi, Spandam, and Monkey D. Luffy. Uh, Spandam also comes alt art. Uh, probably another one of those ones that you don't want to see. So I think at, at this point left in the box, all that we can really get is hope for a Marco. Um, I think that's the only thing that would make this literally one of the best boxes that you'll see. I still can't believe we pulled a Manga, and we got a Fire Fist, and a Kaku, okay. Fire Fist is, is crazy. Um, if you guys haven't read this card, it's it's insane. You trash an event from your hand, KO one of your opponent's characters with 5,000 power or less, and one with 4,000 power or less. So in Ace, uh, this card is insane. If you have not seen the alt art of this card, I suggest you see it all. Uh, you go look it up because it is beautiful. Uh, the layering of the card itself in person is crazy. I saw one today and it, it was it was such a nice card. So that's definitely one of those alt arts that if I was playing red, I would definitely uh, invest in because it is very nice and it's a very good card. Charlotte Pudding, this is our first one. Uh, I need four of these. Uh, great card. It's the Nami of yellow. And we got the Dawn. Nice. The Dawn is really cool. I am personally a, a big fan of this one. Uh, Sanji's one of my favorite characters. This is one of my favorite arcs. I, I just, I really like the Dawn. Um, I know with the Shanks Dawn, they're really cheap right now. They're like two, three dollars. And people are looking for like 15, 10 bucks for the, the Sanji Dawn. So again, I think it's gonna drop like the Shanks one. So I'll probably pick up a set when it gets cheaper, but I, I do really love the artwork on it. Arlong. Ezo, our first Ezo as well, and 3,000 Worlds. Uh, Ezo, staple card in Whitebeard decks. You're gonna need four of them. Again, we got one, uh, it's, it's another searcher. It's, it's literally just like the pudding, just like a Nami. And we just got uh, one of our first ones in a box, which is, which is pretty rare, I guess. I don't wanna destroy this. All right. We got Sham, Kami, Thunderbolt, Soap Sheep, Khalifa, Strusen, our first Strusen as well, and another Monkey D. Luffy. 2k counter for yellow, you gotta play four, it's just mandatory, no choice. Tooth Attack, Speed Jill, Butchy, Charlotte Oven. Django and we got a cracker Charlotte cracker this is another card sorry I talked about it earlier but I do want to mention this again it's just like Paro Sparrow in terms of this is not the alt art right and this is what it looks like like it, it's they're just really nice the yellow cards are, are, are the uh, yellow rares or sorry SRs are very nice looking cards considering they're not alt art like I think more of the cards in the game should be like this so you don't feel forced to invest into um, alt arts if you want your deck to look nice. But I think they did a very good job with that. So we got the last pack here. Um, I think the best thing that we can possibly get would be a Marco, like I said earlier. But honestly, I'll take two rares because this was literally the best box that I've ever opened. So let's see what we got here. We got Pearl, Momu, Usopp's Pirate Crew, Sanji's Pilaf, Hachen, Sanji, I think, is this our first, maybe second Sanji? And Six King Pistol. Okay, crazy guys. Um, I'll just pull out some of the stuff that we got. Let's let's just move that there. We got the Dawn, we got this Soga King, and these are our So hopefully you guys can see all this. Um, I do just want to highlight again, the fact that I bought one box and pulled a manga card. Um, in my last video, somebody had mentioned how uh, content creators always have the best luck when they're pulling boxes for their videos. And I guess that person was right. So thank you. Um, 
I'll try to find your comment and shout you out in this video because I feel like you played a part in this. So thank you very much. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, if you did enjoy it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future, and I will be sure to post all that stuff in the future. I'm always looking for new ideas, uh, always looking for stuff to do. Uh, hopefully, this video you know blows up because I did pull a manga card, which is great. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know uh, what I can do to uh, get more people's attention. Whatever you guys give, give me, give me some ideas. You know, I'm always looking for ideas. Like I said, um, the game was a little bit stale in OP2. And I was very busy, which is why we didn't get as much content. But I'm looking to put out as much as I can in OP3. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks again.